Yeah, hi there. These comments are for, let me take a look at your drkaken at yahoo.mail. Okay, let's take a look at what you said here. So you get, hello, sir, I've scored 86 on the TOEFL. I scored well on the speaking, 24, and writing, 22. But my listening and reading, I only scored 21 and 19. I had cleared my national board exams in the U.S., but could not attain a TOEFL score over 100. So please help me out in any possible way. The thing is, I find these art, land, music-related passages very uninteresting. Please reply to me as soon as possible. All right. Yeah, what is it? Okay, hold on here. Our dentist, uh, my, my three-year-old is watching um, Spider-Man. He wants me to put on a new episode. I'll be right back. Hold on, all right? I apologize. Sorry about this. But I have something very, very important to tell you, though. So just wait about 10 seconds. Okay, baby Cade. You want to say hi to him? Say, <laughs> say, say hi there. You're going to be a dentist, right? <laughs> okay, I'll be right back, sir. Buddy. Okay, I'm back. He's watching a Spider-Man now. He's happy. Now I got to talk to you for a second here. Now I, I think you're looking at the TOEFL the wrong way here. You say that the listening and reading passage are very uninteresting, but let me ask you this question: How interesting is it if you pass the TOEFL? You've already passed the board exams. You've done all of this work to become a dentist, and then you start making $250,000 a year. How interesting is that, my friend? Think about that for a minute. So it, the thing is, it, it doesn't matter if the listening or reading passages are interesting or uninteresting. That should have really no influence on how well you do. Now, what can be difficult is, is if you haven't read those types of passages before or if you've not listened to that type of information before it it may be difficult vocabulary wise or content wise thank you Cade so I, I think you want to probably rethink why you want to pass the test and make sure that you have the motivation and the desire to do that so so snap out of it. That's what I'm saying here. I'm saying it's, you, I got this philosophy. It's P-A-C-E, positive attitude changes everything. I look at you, I look at your life, I'm like, man, this, this guy's going to be a dentist here. He's going to be making more money than 99% of all Americans in the United States. This guy's got to be very smart, very disciplined. He's gone through all of this college in this postgraduate college, he's done his res residency, he's passed the board exams to become a dentist, and he can't pass the listening and the reading sections of the, the TOEFL test? You can do this. You will do this. Now, let me give you some basic suggestions. Uh, I think I can help you in the reading and the listening sections. I can help you in the writing and also the speaking sections of the test. The main thing is you need to develop some system of note-taking. You see what I'm saying? And that helps you take notes, and that's going to make it easier for you to remember and understand the information you read or you listen to. So that, that's my basic advice there. I want to join you. Actually, I'm not saying it right here. I want to invite you to become a member of my seven-step system to pass the TOEFL IBT, I have 160 lessons and practice tests focusing in seven key areas. 
I have vocabulary, pronunciation, grammar, listening, reading, writing, and speaking steps. And each of those steps have different lessons to help you improve all areas of your academic English proficiency. Once you become a student, you can complete speaking and writing practice tests. I will listen to them, evaluate them, I'll score them. I will push you as high as you can be pushed. I will help you as much as I can. I will try to motivate you any way I can. Dude, you're smart. You got everything in front of you. The world is at your fingertips. You just need to crush the listening and the reading sections. You need to kick the TOEFL's butt and beat the reading and the listening sections. And then you never, ever, the rest of your life will ever have to worry about the TOEFL again. So let's do this.